Actually, uh, it was better. That's why we are uh, hopeful of, uh, uh, you can say, winning the uh, uh, majority of the seat. And we are uh, claiming that we are going to form the government. It, is, it was because of the selection of the candidates. Uh, and, no, uh, but senior leaders that, like uh, you, yourself, you know, you were not given the tickets. Some other senior leaders were also denied tickets by the party. I never said and that. It led because to, it led to uh, revolt, re revolt in many seats. Uh, you have seen that uh, we didn't say anything. Some of the uh, people that did the, uh, uh, definitely did, uh, did something, but uh, most of the 90, 95% cases, it was all right. Some of the uh, people, they were uh, they have, uh, expressed their, uh, you can say, the anger, but ultimately, all the party was won, and that's why we are going to win this election. Nirja Chaudhary se bhi hai, because she has just returned from the valley, so she has some assessment of your battle there. No, Dr. Singh, I would like to ask you, there, is, uh, there are five uh, nominations that the LG does to the Assembly, which will take the tally up to 95. Mm -hmm. Earlier it was said that these five would have voting rights. Now some confusion seems to have crept up. Will these nominated MLAs have voting rights or not? I think that's there in the Reorganization Act. So they will. Uh, what you're saying uh, is they will have voting rights. They definitely. They will have voting rights. And uh, everything is uh, explained okay. in the act itself. So the majority, majority figure to... goes up to 48, so, not yeah. 46. So it is safe to assume that the BJP I don't know. starts from 5. <laughs> <laughs> Pardon? So it is safe to assume that the BJP starts from 5. I don't know. It's all right. It's there in the act. And let the uh, LG Sahab and the, those who will decide, uh, they have to decide it. This will be, this will be very because, uh, interesting. Because uh, everything shall be within the parameters of the constitution. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much for speaking to us. This is going to be possibly one of the most fascinating factor come October 8th, when the numbers do, in fact, uh, come. The real numbers, the exact poll comes out on October 8th when the results come in. These, as Akhilesh was saying, if it is plus 5, then there will be a lot of sleepless nights on the lower end of most of these polls for the Congress and the NC. It will be an interesting election. And there will election. be sleepless nights for reporters also yes. as we continue to dial our sources for information. But as is the tradition on NDTV and the shows, the last word to the woman on the panel. How are you looking at the numbers? I think that the, these numbers look a little more accurate than in the looks of our elections, the exit polls. So I think the real test is for the pollsters. We we'll leave, those it, of <laughs> we'll leave it there. Thank you so much to all our guests for joining us. We're completely out of time. It's uh, time to say goodbye from me and Maria. Thank you so much for tuning in to NDTV.